repetitive head trauma chokes the brain. When the movie Concussion came out in theaters, exposing the tragic death of Pittsburgh Steelers' Mike Webster, and a link between punishing hits and chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. Doctors Mark Boyetti and Michael Kellis were too busy with clinical trials on an experimental stem cell procedure to see the film. But when they did... A light bulb went off in regards to trying to treat CTE. A possible game-changing cure that OSU All-American and NFL champion Matt Wilhelm is about to try. You know, using things that come out of my body to regenerate some of those things and help me feel better, it was an absolutely no-brainer. Here at the Ohio Stem Cell Treatment Center in Cleveland, part of the National Cell Surgical Network that's using a person's own fat to heal their body. The results are dramatic. Because they say, fat is loaded with mesenchymal stem cells and other highly regenerative cells called stromal vascular fraction. Now it's important to note that these stem cells are what we call pluripotent. They become where we put them. Kind of like a utility player on the field. The SVF recognizes the problem and then rushes to help out, tackling everything from autoimmune disorders to orthopedics and neurological conditions like multiple sclerosis. This is my elbow like toward the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cleveland personality Kim Sellers has advanced MS and was first in the state to undergo the outpatient procedure. The more I exercise, I'm telling you, the better I feel. <laughs> Nearly three years later, doctors say they've stopped the progression of the disease and are now trying to reverse it. I just have an athlete's mentality, you know. No pain, no gain. They say about 90% of patients so far have seen improvements, including Super Bowl champ Joe Juravicious, who had his knees treated. The, the proof's in the pudding. And I spoke to Joe personally about it, and I said, you know, shoot me straight. And I said, am I going from a, a four to a six? Or, and, you know, and he, he interrupted me, and he said, no, you're going to go from a four to a nine. Giving Matt and his wife, Vanessa, tremendous hope to just feel better and function better on a daily basis. Especially after so many concussions. Matt's first being treated to prevent CTE. For his body and then just a memory loss for sure. What we're trying to do is improve and repair the central nervous system so that he never gets it. I'm excited. Yeah. Dr. Foyetti says research on lab rats has been successful, but the clock's ticking. Studies at Boston University found CTE in 87 of 91 former NFL players' brains. Men who suffered memory loss, paranoia, depression, and dementia. Symptoms other NFL greats are now openly discussing, from Tony Dorsett to Bart Starr and Terry Bradshaw, friend and teammate of Mike Webster. whose death, just five years after being inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, along with several other NFL greats dying from CTE, led to lawsuits, safety changes, and an enduring legacy for Iron Mike. Continue to try, do not be afraid to fail. All we have to do is finish the game, and we'll all be winners. And if we're gonna finish the game and all be winners, why not enjoy it a little bit more by caring about one another? In Cleveland, Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News.